uh, answer to this very very frequently asked question to me how do you get such low angle shots so i just thought i'll quickly explain this is not rocket science it's just common sense so uh, today morning for example this was the backwater female she was walking towards us first car 625 in the morning nobody around and we were shocked to see her 15 feet away walking towards us with her litter of three and uh, you know so this was the kind of situation so what happens is whenever you see a tiger for example this one whenever you see a tiger or any animal for that matter which is walking towards you like this is usually the case uh, in a place like Kabini we have uh, cars which uh, have windshield windscreens and you have to stand up and shoot from the top or which is about eight nine feet above the ground which is really not the ideal way to photograph wildlife so in this case um, it seems like very tough to shoot eye level shots of the cat walking towards you so it's very understandable so let me tell you what i do here whenever i see an opportunity like this beautiful tigress very bold not uh, scared of the car it's important for us to give enough space for the tiger to not feel uncomfortable so i always ask my driver to first go back as much as possible because we can stop getting excited and use our brain and use the camera in this case um, the first thing I do is stand up and while everybody else by instinct are firing at the tiger kach, 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 sounds, you know, they're firing at the tiger I turn behind um, and what I do is I look at what the road has to offer to us on the behind of our car obviously when we see a tiger walking towards and we are driving towards the tiger we are going to reverse the car right so my first reaction would be to turn behind and see what's happening to the road and I might spot an elevation about 20, 30, 40, 50 meters, 100 meters behind and I make sure I yell at the driver and urge him to reverse the car. Many times people sitting next to me are very surprised and shocked and they are not able to believe that when the tiger is coming towards us, we are reversing the car and going farther away. But then we uh, leave the place to win later and we go far away and stand in a place like this and when the tiger comes close to the spot where there is an elevation and we are at a ditch, we are at a lower height than where the tiger is and that is when we are supposed to click pictures to get these kind of beautiful backgrounds. Otherwise, I find a lot of people take pictures of situations like these for hours together and then finally they are not in good situations to shoot this low angle shot. It's not possible for us to bend down and hold the camera below the you know, um, steering um, wheel's height and get this low angle shot. It's important for us to relocate uh, and find a position where the tiger is above for example look at this in this situation the tiger is about six seven feet below my camera's level and this is how you get uh, a background below it's very evident that the background was completely low uh, and the tiger is sitting below the eye level of uh, you know let's say the view of the photographer's eye uh, or let's say the tiger is sitting on the ground here so what i do is i move the car 50 meters 100 meters behind until i find a place like for example she's walking towards me here Though it's a nice, beautiful, lovely shot, I would still love if the background is much more cleaner, not the road, but the greenery and stuff like that. So I move the car so much behind, uh, for example, to a place like this, where uh, I anticipate the tiger to come here. I tell people in my car saying, we need to give five seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, the tiger will come there, please focus here, get the exposure right, compose and wait for the tiger to come here. And sometimes, you know, the cubs can also come and this is an occasion where this cub came and started peeping from that small area and about a couple of seconds or let's say it's five to ten seconds later of course the mother comes there and that's when you get this kind of a background and i've just posted another shot on my stream which explains how i can go low and get these elevated tigers from the ground i'm not going to lie low and take pictures i need to take my entire car to a lower position to a ditch on the road and wait for the tiger to come to a hump where I am approximately at the same level of the tiger's eye, sometimes get the tiger above my eye level as well. So that's how you shoot these kind of images, guys. I hope um, you guys love it. Um, this was uh, today morning, 625, Kabini, backwater female, and her litter of three. By the way, I'll be taking a group this September, 18th to 20th. We have a colleague, uh, Harsha Narsimurthy, taking a group on 4th to 6th, that is already completely full. We have a batch 6th to 9th of September, which has, I think, a couple of spots check with me or Harsha or anybody from Toehold to know more about these trips. Uh, so Kabini, 18th to 20th September. Take care, guys.